In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a linear slide bearing. Something like this. Uh, I made these a while ago for my Y axis for my uh, new CNC machine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'm going to be making is the Z axis. And you're going to want to have just a roller, tap, I'm using a 5 16 tap, uh, 5 16 bolt, and a 5 16 nut. I'm going to be measuring this one at the... Uh, Four inch mark. So you're going to want to saw as well. You see, I've made my mark there. So that'll show me where I need to cut. You should have something like this. Uh, I forgot to mention that this is obviously, I guess, what they call an L shaped rod. Uh, it is 1 8 inch thick. Um, that's necessary for the uh, next steps. I made a template here. And the way this is going to work, it's really, really crucial that you get, that you get it right. Is I place the template here and that's the hole I'm going to be using to drill through there then you flip it move it back As you can see, I'm not trying to drill all the way through. I made my marks where I need to drill. Now, I told you that I use a 1 16th inch tap. So, I'm going to want to use a quarter inch drill bit to make my cut and my drill. Because if I use a 5 16 drill bit with the 5 16 tap, I'm not going to get enough thread. And it will not thread correctly, so. After you drill your four holes, you should have something like this. Um, they're offset like this, I guess, for uh, stability and to make sure that when you put the bolt through it, it's not going to interfere. Now, I'm out of bearings, but 
I'll take this one apart to show you what's going on here. Five sixteenths bolt. Bearing goes on the bolt, then the nut. You're going to want to have something that looks like this. And this is where tapping holes come in. So after drilling your four holes using a quarter inch drill bit, then tapping the holes with a 5 16 drill bit, you can get nice, deep, clean threads. So take your bearing assembly that I showed you how to build a minute ago, a thread on very nicely. The bolts I'm using are uh, 5 16 as I said earlier, but I think I forgot to mention that they are 3 quarter inch in length. And uh, remember, when you tighten these down, just snug them up. Don't over tighten them by no means because, uh, regardless, it's still aluminum that you're dealing with. And that's the whole purpose of using 1 8, one -eight thick. And uh, when you're done, it should look like this. And using the template that I definitely recommend making uh, guarantees that all four of your bearings will be the same exact thickness.